Hello everyone welcome back today we are going to learn how to represent fractions on the number line we already know what is a number line how to represent numbers on the number line and also to add subtract multiply and divide using number line today we are going to learn how to represent fractions on the number line in this chapter we have learned three different types of fractions proper improper and mixed fraction just to recall proper fraction means the denominator will be bigger one improper fraction means the denominator will be smaller one and in mixed fraction your whole number and a proper fraction now coming to the number line first i will show you how to represent proper fraction on the number line you should always remember that a proper fraction is represented between 0 and 1 on a number line just have a look at this we are going to represent fractions on the number line here the given questions are 2 by 3 4 by 5 6 by 8 from this you can identify that they are proper fractions as the denominator is bigger than the numerator yes just now i told you proper fractions will be in between 0 and 1 so i have drawn all the number lines and marked 0 and 1 for each and every number line now let us find out where these fractions can be represented let us take the first question it is 2 by 3 look at the denominator denominator is 3 it means that we have to make three divisions after 0 that is 1 by 3 2 by 3 and 3 by 3 3 by 3 is nothing but 1 for your better understanding i have written 3 by 3 and 1 look at this 5 by 5 it is 1 3 by 3 it is 1 that is if the numerator and denominator are same it means that whole number now coming back to the number line we have to mark 2 by 3 I hope it is understood. Now come to the second question. 4 by 5. Look at the denominator. It is 5. It means that after 0 we have to make 5 partitions. That is including 1. 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5 and 5 by 5. That is 1. Okay, I have written that for you. now we are going to mark the fraction it is 4 by 5 so i am marking at the fourth partition from the five partitions i have marked in the fourth partition that is 4 by 5 now coming to the next question it is 6 by 8 since 8 is the denominator we have to mark eight divisions yeah i have marked it now let us write the fractions it is 1 by 8 2 by 8 3 by 8 4 by 8 5 by 8 6 by 8 7 by 8 and 8 by 8 is 1 okay so we have to mark the sixth partition of the number line yes i hope it is understood for you see the next question i have already done everything since 10 divisions i have marked the 10 divisions here and for 1 it is 10 by 10 so i have written both i am marking here 
5 by 10. Yes? Now let us see how to represent the improper fractions. Our first step is to convert the improper fraction into mixed fraction. This we have learned previously. Yes, I will just show you how to convert. 3 by 2, we are going to divide by 2. 2 is the denominator. When we divide it, reminder is 1. So, how to write it in the mixed fraction? It is quotient 1 is the whole number and the remainder 1 is the numerator. Yes. And the divisor is the denominator. Our fraction is 1, 1 by 2. So, it means that this fraction comes after 1. So, now we are going to mark the fraction part. First one is 1 by 2 and next one is 2 by 2. When the numerator and denominator are equal, it means the whole number that is the next whole number what is the next whole number after 1 it is 2 so instead of 2 by 2 we can also mark it as 2 i will be going to show that in the next number line you can see 1 and 1 by 2 and then it is 2. You can also note that in between 1 and 2, half, equal half is there. Yes, now we are going to mark 1, 1 by 2. That is, this portion is 1, 1 by 2. You can write as 1, 1 by 2 also. Yes, now coming to the next question, 11 by 8. We are going to divide that to find out the mixed fraction. Yes, 8, 1s are 8. When we are subtracting, we will get it is 3. Yeah, now the fraction will be Quotient is the whole number 1 and the remainder is the numerator. Always remember this while writing the mixed fraction. And the denominator is the denominator always. So, how to write 1, 3 by 8. You can also check using your MAD method whether this fraction is correct or not. Now, since this one comes after 1, I am going to mark 8 divisions here because denominator is 8. Now, I have marked all the 8 divisions. Let us write what it is. It is 1 by 8, 2 by 8, 3 by 8, 4 by 8, 5 by 8, 6 by 8, 7 by 8. And what is 8 by 8? It is the next whole number that is, we can also write. 2. You should remember that equal numerator and denominator will make a whole number. Yes. Now let us mark 1, 3 by 8. After 1, 3 by 8. That is the third part from the 8 divisions. Yes. Now we have marked it. Coming to the next question, 17 by 6. This is also an improper fraction. Let us divide and find out the mixed fraction. After how many whole numbers we have to mark the fraction. 6, 2s are 12, 
since 6 3s are as 18 we cannot take 6 2s are 12 17 minus 12 it is 5 so what is our fraction it is 2 5 by 6 not like the previous one it is after 2 so we are going to Mark the fractions that is divisions after the two whole numbers. 2, 5 by 6. Okay. 1, 2. And after this, we are going to make 6 divisions because denominator is 6. Here I have marked the divisions. Yes. 1 by 6, 2 by 6, 3 by 6, 4 by 6, 5 by 6 and 6 by 6. 6 by 6 is nothing but 3. Yes, you guessed it. Now, we shall mark this in the number line 2, 5 by 6. That is after 2. Where is 5 by 6? It is here. And this is the our given fraction. It is 2, 5 by 6. Here, I will show you an, another method. 17 by 6. This we found after finding the mixed fraction. But without finding mixed fraction, I am going to write the fractions as it is. 1 by 6, 2 by 6, 3 by 6, 4 by 6, 5 by 6, 6 by 6. 6 by 6 is 1. Then 7 by 6. 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6, 11 by 6 and 12 by 6. You know 6 twos are it is 12. Next is 13 by 6. Fourteen by six, fifteen by six, sixteen by six. It is sixteen by six, seventeen by six, then it is eighteen by six. Eighteen by six is nothing but three. Now let us mark seventeen by six. It is easy for us to mark seventeen by six. As we have written the fraction. Seventeen by six is equal to two times that is two and count the fractions after two. One, two, three, four, it is five. It is fifth time of six. That is two five by six. You can do in this way also. In this video, we learned how to represent proper fractions and improper fractions on the number line. Here, I have given a few examples. Kindly have a look at it. Kindly comment. If there is any doubt in any other topics. Thank you for watching.